Hi, this is Ricky again with Team 1745. In our last tutorial, we inserted these parts from the parts library. One of the things you'll notice is that um, this extrusion is basically the length that it comes when you order it from Rev. Um, you're never going to necessarily going to use that length of extrusion in your robot. So what we want is to learn how to create custom length rev extrusions. And I've created a tool for you, a feature script tool that allow you to create custom length rev extrusions, custom length uh, five millimeter hex shafts and other extruded shapes. To do that, we're going to go back to the part studio here, this blank part studio, and we need to bring in what is this feature script feature. So these are custom features that have encoded that you can add to this toolbar to uh, accelerate your development time by um, doing a lot of advanced um, feature creation all in one. So I'm going to click this plus sign on the far um, far right on the toolbar to add a custom feature. In other documents, I'm going to click Pierce Robotics and this extrusion feature script file. Underneath uh, Feature Studio 1 is our custom length extrusion feature. Once I click on that, you can see the CL, the custom length extrusion, is added um, to the, the right side of the toolbar, and I can exit out of adding custom features. If I click on our custom length extrusion, you can see that it by default pops up with this, um, this Versa frame extrusion from FX Robotics. I have the option to edit a length. Uh, I can make it however long I want. Um, but what we're here for is for Rev extrusions. So next to VEX, I'm going to click Rev tab. And I have the options for 5 millimeter hex and 15 uh, millimeter extrusion from the drop down. If I leave origin point blank, it's going to default to the origin of the part studio. Um, and then the length is obviously the length. Um, my document's in inches, so it's going to show eight inches. But if I want to make it millimeters, all I do is I have to, to manually put in the, the mm for millimeters or cm for centimeters or m for meters. Um, so I've just created a meter long rev extrusion. Um, I go back to inches, just make something that's 10 inches long. Once I click the check mark, I have this custom length rev extrusion. At either end, um, you've automatically created mate connectors. So these are points that allow you to mate to the slots. And this will help you immensely when you're um, putting brackets and um, different rev parts into the extrusion, just like how you would assemble it in real life. If I go back to my assembly document and click insert in the toolbar, um, I have this part one, which is our custom part that I can add to our document. And we can do this any number of times. In order to do this um, in the most efficient way possible, we can create a sketch on the front plane of our part studio and create a point. I'm going to put this point at the origin where our part already is. Then I'm going to create a linear pattern with this. So I click the linear pattern, click the point I just created, and as you can see, um, the default is to create um, three points along the x-axis and only one point along the y-axis, which is just the original point. I'm going to update these numbers, so we're going to create 4x4 four four gl four four grid. Um, you can see it had added another point. And I'm going to click the y axis and create 4x4. Four four. I'm also going to change the spacing from 2 inch spacing, 1 inch spacing to 2 inch spacing. And so we have this grid of points. And I can click the green check mark to exit out of the sketch. I'm going to drag the sketch up back before. Um, our extrusion just to show you how to use this. If I right click on our extrusion, click edit, it, in the origin point I can now click any of those points. And this is where our extrusion is going to start from. 
And so this allows us to create um, multiple extrusions that are not overlapping with one another. Um, once I create the first one, I actually have to re, um, re-enable the sketch by clicking on the, the eye, hover over the sketch and click the eye. So we can see that again. We only have to do that once. But now we can create um, multiple different features that are not overlapping. And we can uh, have this part studio to hold all these different parts. So once I check that all out, I can see in the assembly um, that I have all parts one, two, three available to insert into my assembly. I'm going to go ahead and rename this part studio and just call it extrusions. And that is the end of this tutorial.